Okay, the point of this video is to show you how you can sync your sound in with your other animations. And this was from a special request from actually my sister. And uh, I'm going to try to, to make this work. So let's say you have a presentation and maybe the presentation already has some animations so you're going to add some animations in there. And you want to try to sync up a, a music track or a soundtrack. So let's see if we can make it happen. Probably the first thing I would do is add the soundtrack in. So I'm going to pick on insert. Then I'm going to pick on audio. And if you have a track that's already recorded, then you're going to say audio from file. Now there's lots of different audios that you can use. Um, but here's a bunch of CD tracks that I have on my computer. So I'm going to use the classic uh, Beatles song, Eight Days a Week. All right, so I'm going to pull in uh, Eight Days a Week here. Classic Beatles song. Now, you see when you uh, move a sound into your presentation, this little speaker shows up on the slide. So I'm actually going to move that over here so it's not completely in the way. Uh, now, what you want to do is you want to turn on something that's called the animation pane. So I'm going to pick on the animation uh, tab. Then I'm going to pick on the animation pane over here. And you can see that when we open up the animation pane, it, it actually considers the sound to be another animation. Well, that's going to be important for us because that gives us a lot of control. So we're going to, um, in the animation pane, I'm going to double click on the, the music track uh, eight days a week. And this opens up a lot of things that we can do as far as uh, the, the timing. Now, first of all, you see where it says start playing. So you can start playing from the beginning of the track, or you can start it from uh, like so many seconds in the, into the track, uh, and it'll do that for you. And then look at this choice over here. You can stop playing it um, either when you click or after the current slide, or you can make it go for so many slides. So I'm going to pick on after, and I'm going to say six slides. So however long it takes those six slides to run, um, then it, you know, the, the song will keep on playing. Then the next thing I want to do, well, well, we'll come back to some of these options. This is going to be uh, a bit long training, uh, maybe a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to pick on timing over here, and this is another important option. So you actually want to change it to where it says start, and I'm going to change this to say after previous. And I'm going to make it say like one second. So, so what that means is the slide will come up, and then one second later, the track will start to play. So this controls uh, like when the, when the track is actually going to start in relation to when the slide appears. Okay, so um, let's see how this is going to work so far. I'm going to click on OK. Now on this presentation I don't have any transition going from one slide to the next so it's just going to be manual. But let's go ahead and see what we have so far. So I'm going to run the show. I'll pick on slideshow from the beginning. And you can hear the track. Now I'm going to go to the next slide. And the next slide. And the next slide. Next. 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 Notice how the music played after the six slides, which is what I wanted it to do. In fact, let's even put a seventh slide in there, so it will. You'll see that it will stop after the sixth slide. So now, now the track plays uh, automatically, and we have a, a good bed. So let's go back to slide one. I would like this heart to appear when he first says, ooh, I need your love bait, <laughs> okay? So, now I should have really uh, listened to that timing, 
because you have to uh, you have to practice with this a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an animation onto the heart. So I'm going to pick on the heart and I'll pick on um, animations and I'll say add animation <coughs> and I just want this to kind of appear. Okay, I want to pick on appear there. A any animation would work. So notice how that appears in the animation pane. First it has the sound, and then here's the one for the heart. Well, what you want to do is go into th this animation. I'm going to double click on it. And this animation is also going to have timing. Now, I'm going to pick on timing. Uh, I'm going to say with previous. So in other words, they can play simultaneously. And I'm just going to take a ballpark shot here. Let's say it's going to be, they, they have the build up, and let's say it's going to be 10 seconds later. I'm just taking a shot here, okay? So I'll pick an OK. So this is definitely something that's going to um, be a trial and error type of thing, and you're going to go back and forth until you get it the way you want it to be. So let's go ahead and play the slide now. Now, when I click on this little icon over here, it's just going to play this, the presentation from the current slot. So I'm going to pick on that. Well, that worked out to be pretty good. I mean, um, you know, I just kind of guessed on that, but that, that actually worked out pretty good. So I might even add one more second into that. So uh, I'm going to pick on the, um, the animation again, and let's go back and put the delay maybe to uh, 11 seconds, or maybe 10 and a half. I mean, it was just a little bit off, but that wasn't bad for my first shot. I'm going to click on OK, and uh, I'm going to run the presentation again. Let's check it out. Well, I, I'm liking that, you know? <laughs> so uh, I can deal with that. So now my next thing is uh, I wanted to go to the next slide and then uh, that's going to come up, you know, maybe the next time uh, when he says, uh, hold me, love me, that kind of thing. So uh, another thing that we can control with the timing would be moving from the next slide, moving from this slide to the next slide. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick on that slide, and I'm going to pick on the transitions menu. And the transitions menu, the transitions menu is all about moving to the next slide. So I wanted to move to the next slide automatically. Let's say after, obviously after at least uh, 10 seconds. Let's say after. Um, this is going to be in seconds over here. So let's say after let's say after 15 seconds, okay? So it'll play that. The heart's going to come up, and then um, I want this one, to, uh, this slide to come up, and I want this picture to come up. Maybe like another. 10 seconds after that. So we're going to add an animation onto this picture. I want to pick on uh, animations, add animation. Let's say we're going to make this one uh, kind of kind of fade in like that. Notice how that shows up on the animation pane. I'm going to double click on that. Again, the timing is really important here. That's what we're talking about. So I want to pick on timing. Now, imagine the song is still playing, right? So I want to say with previous. And then let's say, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just taking a total guess here. Let's say maybe 10 seconds after this slide appears. Then I want the, um, the, the picture to appear. So let's see what's going to happen now. I'm going to run the whole show from the beginning. I'm going to pick on slideshow from the beginning.
Okay. So that one was a little bit off, right? That was a little bit too long. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change that instead of being too, uh, I think it was about a couple seconds off. So let's move that back to, let's say, maybe like six. And I'm going to click on OK. Now, then, after this slide, I wanted to move to the next slide, and then we'll kind of do a transition right after that, because he's going to say, hold me, and then I want to go to the next slide for the heart, love me, right? And then hold me, and then love me, right? So then we're going to kind of go to each slide pretty quickly after that. So, again, we're going to go into the slide transition to go to the next slide. So I'm giving you lots of ways to get this timing in sync, but you can see it takes a little bit of practice. So uh, I'm going to pick on slide two and pick on transitions. So let's say I want that to move to the next slide after, uh, let's see, hold me, not, not, not too long, only after like, uh, like, like two seconds. Then this slide I want to come up after two seconds uh, as well. Then uh, this slide is going to be another two second transition. And then this slide will be a two second transition. And then we'll get to the eight uh, when he says eight days a week. So let's see how we're going to make this work. You can see I'm using the combination of the animation pane and the features that are in here. Like let's go to the sound again. With the sound, I can make it start from the beginning of the track or from a certain number of seconds in the track. I can make it stop either on the current slide or after so many slides. And then we can make that start, actually start when the slide appears after so many seconds. The next thing that was important was the animation for the actual uh, pictures. And you want to add the timing there. Again, that with previous makes everything happen at the same time. And then another thing that we're adding timing to is the slide transition which means going to the next slide after so many seconds. This should be pretty close now. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to run the whole show. I'll pick on slideshow from the beginning. All right, so we're getting close there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to duplicate this first slide. So I'm going to right-click on that and duplicate that slide. And I'm going to make sure that that one goes um, to the next slide after 70 seconds with the transition. I think that's a little bit too long. We'll make that maybe like, like three seconds there. And then this one should be pretty close, but hopefully you're getting the idea of what I'm doing. So let's give it a shot. Uh, now this one, sh the, the, the actual heart shouldn't be that long. Let's make that one. Let's make that one only just a few seconds here. All right, let's try the whole thing out now. So I'll pick on slideshow from the beginning. Now, did you see why it stopped there? Because, remember, I, I made the sound stop after six slides, but now it should stop after seven slides, right? So let me go back to the actual sound animation, which is on the first slide. Let me change this to after seven slides. And, and that one wasn't bad. We'll do one more change here. 
I need a little bit more of a delay after this one. So uh, I'm going to go to transitions and I'm going to add that one to maybe like four seconds. Maybe five. And this one should be pretty close. All right. So let's pick on slideshow from the beginning. So you can see I'm getting pretty close with a combination of the individual uh, animations for the pictures, right? Like like that animation for the picture, we can add timing onto that. And again, the width previous is really uh, important and delay is really important. And then the actual animation of the sound itself. Uh, so we can start playing, we can stop playing at a certain point. The timing of that, of course, is important as well. And then if you're talking about going to multiple slides, you have the timing for the actual slides in there with the slide transition. So you can see that um, it, it takes a little bit of trial and error, but you can see after just a short time here, I'm getting pretty close to being where I want to be. I hope you got some good ideas about that. So that's how you can sync up your sound with your other animations here in PowerPoint.